This is Marketing Jam, a show featuring the brightest minds in marketing. Marketing Jam is brought to you by Cyber Impact, the email marketing platform made specifically for Canadian small businesses. Go to cyberimpact.com forward slash jelly, create a free account, and start sending castle compliant promotional emails in just a few clicks. Hi everyone, welcome back to Marketing Jam. My name is Shahid, and I'm glad you could join us for another exciting episode of the show. I'm of course here in Fort Langley, British Columbia, the, the home place of, uh, and the birthplace of British Columbia. And our guest today is joining us from Montreal, Canada. It's Anne from Yellow Pages, Canada. Anne, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for making the time today. Thank you. So why don't you first tell our, our viewers and listeners a little bit about yourself, uh, what you do at Yellow Pages. Yeah, so my name is uh, Anne Kukenyu. I'm a product manager uh, for Yellow Pages Canada. And uh, I'm overseeing uh, the partnership between Google and, uh, and YP and uh, ensure that we're unlocking all the uh, Google My Business and Google Ad solution for Canadian SMBs. Okay, perfect. So Yellow Pages is a, a very big name um, and it's associated, I guess, historically with the book, uh, the yeah. directory. Is, is that still around? And if not, how have things changed? When did they change? Uh, so yeah, well, we we still we're still printing uh, books where um, where we're still delivering you know uh, performance for our advertisers and we have users who are still consuming the information available in uh, in these books. But uh, YP is not just the books anymore. Uh, I would say it started uh, early um, early 2000s um, that uh, we we started to you know do other stuff than just the books that everyone um, knows, um, but, you know, being, um, you know, our um, core mission is to connect businesses and people. Um, so it's just a matter to find where those people are. And before, um, you know, people were not on the internet, not on mobile, but uh, with the technology that evolved, um, we also evolved and uh, changed the solutions that we are offering to um, to SMBs to reach uh, their consumers. Um, so we uh, we are like fully of digital uh, offering a solution, advertising solution on Google, Facebook, uh, websites. We also have our um, own properties uh, online that are uh, really strong and generated a lot of generating a lot of traffic uh, in Canada. So we're not just a print book anymore, for sure. Right. So, so what does your day to day look like? You've been with the company, uh, from what I understand, over six years now. Yes. So, what does it look like now, and, and what did it look like when you started? How has that changed for you personally? Um, so, I would say I I started uh, on on the digital side. So, I, I never worked on the on the print side. Um, I really started on the campaign management side um, for um, Google Ads, and uh, then slowly, you know, moved. The yeah, different opportunities within the company moved to uh, management uh, of the teams, and then moved to uh, marketing and uh, working, uh, developing solutions for SMBs and working with great partners. Okay, so when you talk about uh, starting on the digital side and, and digital ads being, you know, a big part of what you're talking about. Uh, how important do you find it these days uh, for small businesses to be playing in the digital ad landscape? Would you say that that is essential these days for them to have success and to reach the, the right people? Yeah, I think it's, it's essential because this is, you know, where people are. Um, we're all, you know, looking at our phones for information um, or um, in our laptops when we're home. So um, this is where we, we, we're finding the information and we're looking for uh, information. So we expect uh, to find the information there. So it's essential for a business to be there, otherwise their competition will be there for sure. So, um, so if you don't want to, you know, to leave uh, these opportunities to your competitors, you have to be there. So in, in the early days of social media for business and even digital ads for business uh, as we know them today, there was more pushback from small businesses because they were skeptical about what it can provide. Uh, I, I assume there's less pushback these days, especially from what the work we're doing here at Jelly with our clients. Um, you know, digital ads is a big part of what we do. But 
What are some of the challenges that you still face with working with small businesses and in the digital ad landscape? So I would say at the beginning it was more a matter of, you know, educating and uh, knowing what it is. Uh, now everyone knows what Google and Facebook are and, um, you know, what they can, um, what they can deliver, the type of results they can deliver. Um, people talk to each other as well. So uh, obviously if someone has uh, success on, on these uh, platforms, um, well, others will follow. Um, I would say one of the uh, main um, main um, object, objections that uh, uh, we would get uh, today, and it's, I don't think it's specific to digital, but more to all type of advertising, is um, competition is uh, extremely high and, um, and always goes up. And unfortunately, with this, uh, goes the cost. Uh, so it costs you more now to uh, advertise on, on this channel than five years ago for you know, the same type of business because you have more and more people who are going on to advertise on, on these platforms. So this is one of the objections, mostly for um, the early adopters who've been used to pay a certain amount and now they are seeing that it costs, it costs them more to, uh, you know, to generate results. Um, there is still you know, generating good results and you know, positive return on investment for them. But it's, it's just a, a, the conversation uh, to have with them. And unfortunately, in today's market, it costs more. And it's something that is out of our end. It's out of you know, every agency's end. Uh, um, so it's just competition. What are some of the uh, suggestions you might give to a small business or even an agency? Now, maybe you don't want to reveal any trade secrets, but you know, if if it's you know one side, you you throw more money into it. But is there another side where there are some things that you know people can do to to maximize their efficiency? Yeah. So um, you know, with all the you know new technologies and uh, and evolution of 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 all these platforms. Um, you can, you know, be more targeted. So if you know, you've been there, you, you know, you know what works and what not doesn't work, but work less. So you can focus on what works the best. If you're more limited by budget, uh, being more focused uh, on yeah the type of targeting, but also diversify the uh, channels you're uh, you're operating on. So. Don't invest, you know, all of your money on one channel because usually just the fact to invest a bit on all of them uh, will have an, an overall, uh, a bigger overall impact than if you just put all your money into uh, one channel. Yeah. Yeah, and that's interesting for me to hear because obviously, you know, your day-to-day -day job is, is focused around, you know, the the product uh, and of Google and. And there are alternatives, of course, in Facebook and others. Do you find that they play well together, or one works uh, better than the other? Or does it really depend on on what the the business and the product is? Um, well, I think it's, you know depends on your objective as well. Um, do you want to generate you know calls right away? Well, I would then I would push more uh, a platform like Google, where you can call directly from the SERP or um, our online operated platform where we were generating a, a lot of calls for the advertisers um, where they are like more um, conversion driven um, and you have all your channels where it's more uh, managing your your brand your image and just you know being always at the back of everyone's head so when they're like looking for your service you know they, they remember your name um, so it's really depending on where you at you know what What's your objective, and where you at? Are you starting to advertise, or are you already, you know, familiar with ad online advertising, and then you can just improve your solution? But it's like I would recommend to first, you know, start small, really focus, generate leads, so you can also, you know, generate revenue for for your business. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want to do: um, generate business for our customers. And, and then they can, you know, improve, um, in, improve where, they are, uh, where they appear online. Right. Now, ob objectives notwithstanding, you know, a lot of small businesses 
have a tough time finding marketing dollars. So, yeah. um, you know, a lot of the time they want to come in and, and, and see an impact right away, but budgets are, are, are small. So um, in, in that instance, you know, how, how long do you recommend uh, testing and, and, you know, gathering data um, and, and almost trying things out with obviously the hope to, to bring in leads and conversions, but you know, if that doesn't happen right away, a lot, of, you know, a lot of businesses might want to pull the plug because they don't have a lot of money to play with. You know, what's a good time period to, to give yourself as a business to, to make sure you're doing the most you can in that initial phase? Um, I would say at least six months uh, from, from the beginning, just to have time to, you know, for the person who's managing your campaign to do all the adjustments um, that are required and adjust also based on your objective because you may not know exactly what you want when you start advertising and so you can just adjust um, and, and then you can see is it a good fit for you or not. Um, from what we've seen from all the campaigns that we've managed is we're delivering results uh, but then it's also a matter of perception of uh, you know, the value that has been uh, generated. So it's what's good is we can, you know, really track performance. Um, but uh, it, it's a tough time also for, you know, for SMBs to find marketing dollars. So start, start small, um, start small, but uh, also be aware of um, the market you're evolving in. So if you if you're starting you know too small and all your competitors are investing you know ten times what you're investing, um, you know they, they, they would get uh, all these opportunities because they will be in in front of you every time. Um, so it's it's more like yes, start small, but also being aware of what's your what's your market and industry. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you talked about you know, knowing what you want and then that taking time to find out. But would you agree that you know, it takes time to also find out uh, what your audience is looking for and what you're trying might not match up with what the audience is looking for? And so that obviously takes some time too. Yeah. So that's why like, we, you cannot expect, and fortunately, you cannot expect to have you know, results day one. You, you may receive like, great results from day one, but you have to be ready to, you know, be patient uh, for, yeah, I would say, six months to, uh, you, you should have a, you know, more optimal results after six months. Right. So you talked a little bit about evolution there, and certainly we mentioned that in, in the six plus years that you've been doing this in the digital side uh, for Yellow Pages Canada, things have certainly changed. Uh, and, and things continue to change uh, with Google and Facebook and, and the way that uh, the ad landscape uh, is. Uh, where do you see it going in, in the short term, you know, this year? Where do, you, where do you think small businesses should be, you know, focusing their marketing dollars on, on the digital ad side this year? And where do you see things going in the big picture, um, you know, five years from now? How, how different will it look? Um, so, I would say really invest in your content. Um, we... Um, we often tend to um, focus on, you know, results, how many calls, how many sales uh, did my campaign generate. But the, often the base of your performance is coming from your content. Um, you can have a, a great campaign, but if, you know, if your ads or your website is not clear, um, you know, people won't call you. Or um, if you have, you know, bad reviews online, you have a, a bad reputation, um, it's you know, people will see you, but they will be like, well, no, I don't want to do business with them. So, um, so focus on, you know, your, your content, your image, because it's really, both of them are really linked. Um, so, so then every dollar that you left, you can expect to have a, a good return. But the first, the, really the, the base is your content. So for um, online, I would say, you know, ensure all your information are up to date everywhere. Um, Google I, My Business is becoming, you know, huge. Uh, it was kind of the uh, Google's uh, lonely child at one point, but now it's really the center of all, um, of a lot of their solutions. Um, so uh, put focus on, the, on it. Um, what else? Uh, we're seeing, um, I find it's more accessible um, now for SMBs to um, use videos. 
than it used to. Uh, it was always, you know, the, uh, really a ground for uh, national brands because it, it costs to, uh, to generate uh, videos. But uh, now with technologies, uh, new technologies, we can produce video for way cheaper uh, than before and still have a professional uh, look. So I'm seeing uh, more and more, you know, advertisement for SMBs um, than I, I used to. Um, voice search is becoming also, okay. it's the, like, we, we've That's seen maybe it. the next big one, right? Exactly. We, we've seen it coming, but it was always like how we play. But, um, you know, with Google testing ads the last couple of weeks on, the, on their assistant, it's like, okay, it's, it's coming maybe faster than we thought to have ads on voice search. So it's, again, another channel where, um, where businesses will be able to uh, advertise on. How exactly do you see that working? Uh, give us an example of what uh, ad and voice search might be. So right now, from, from a bit what we've seen, like they, they will uh, unlock it. They're really taking um, the ads, regular text ads that we, we, we've seen on, on the SERP and just um, uh, displaying it on, on, you know, on the assistant or um, or just giving you the answer, you know, if you're asking for, you know, where, where is the closest tourist uh, in the area, they will give you right away uh, this information, but it might be a tourist that, you know, advertised. Um, so it, I'm, I'm really curious to see how they will be able to show that this is an ad, um, if it's only via, via voice, because um, on the SERP it's clearly indicated, okay, this is an ad you're clicking on. Uh, but how yeah, and you also have the to... opportunity to look at the, the other organic search results it, there, but exactly. when, when you're in, in voice search, you you're being served result. maybe only one answer, right? Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see how, you know, how they will balance uh, this, because, yeah, right now it's a, it's a big, like, interrogation mark, because we know it's coming, but it's really unclear on you know what would be the form of uh, of this ad. Yeah, and so, you can see it yeah. being quite popular among users because you know you don't need to take out a device if it's in your house, or you don't need to open a web page or anything. It's just with a click of a button or even activation with your voice. So certainly, uh, I think we can probably all agree that it's coming. Just like you said, how it'll play out is is the question. Yeah, yeah, that would be really interesting to see, and that's why it's even more you know, important to, you know, optimize your content and, and take control of your content online because we're not sure, you know, what would be the source of information for, uh, you know, for these ads. Right. So with the, with the popularity of, of digital advertising has, you know, come an uptick in, in people and agencies that do this type of work. Obviously, Yellow Pages does it, you know, we do it here and there are so many other uh, agencies and people that do it, and small businesses have the option to do it themselves. So I'm wondering, you know, what what Yellow Pages is doing uh, in Canada to kind of keep up with all the changes, and what sort of the the value proposition is for for a small business to to want to work with Yellow Pages. Yeah. So um, we've been um, really focusing on um, you know providing the tools for SMBs to uh, compete with big players and. To do so, um, we've invested a lot in partnerships with uh, big companies like Google, Facebook, Apple, uh, Amazon, to ensure that um, you know everyone can uh, go and advertise on Google, on Facebook, or manage their page. But uh, do they have access to all the tools and supports from from these big companies? This, then it's a, a different story. Um, here we've built like real uh, partnerships with them to being able to you know offer technologies or and this is only you know we have partnership with um, yeah companies like uh, Facebook Google but we also have partnerships with um, technologies company to you know manage your campaign more efficiently uh, we all know that uh, with all the algorithm change uh, et cetera, like a, a human cannot, you know, take all the right decision at the right time. And sometimes it's better to, you know, use ma machine learning um, to take the right decision. But um, unfortunately, those technologies 
um, there is a uh, an entry price um, uh, to to have access to them, and uh, an SMB doesn't have the the mean to uh, uh, to to use um, these tools. Uh, but here, because we're managing you know a lot of campaigns for a lot of SMBs across Canada, we're able to you know sign this type of uh, agreement and partnerships uh, with platforms, and then um, our customers can benefit from it. So it's it's right. really we are the intermediate like between our um, our advertisers who don't have access to uh, some big players in uh, in the market, so they can you know always be on top. Um, every every other day there's a an innovation uh, that is launched, so um, they can really focus on their business, and we can focus on you know bringing customers to their business. Right. So with that being said, say that there's a small business that decides not to work with Yellow Pages and decides not to work with, with Jelly and, and wants to kind of go about this on their own because they don't have that, uh, that budget. What, what's some of the, the best advice that you can give uh, to them today, aside from maybe like you've mentioned already, you know, focusing on the content as the cornerstone? Well, what's some other advice that you would give to a small business who wants to get into that digital ad landscape? Um, I will uh, tell them to be aware that um, even if it seems, you know, easy to set up because we can, you know, create automated uh, campaigns, um, be aware that it may be time consuming, um, to, you know, to manage. So just for them to be aware of it, because um, obviously they can do it themselves if, you know, they have the time, they have the expertise. Um, there is, uh, you know, a bunch of, you know, webinars online. Uh, where you know they can they can learn and educate themselves, uh, but uh, if they're managing it by themselves, uh, really really start small because you can go like you can spend spend a, a lot of money really fast. And if you're managing it yourself, maybe you don't have you know systems in place that will cap your your spend and say well no that's, we we say we will spend only. You know, this amount just stop. Um, so be, be aware that it can cost you a lot really fast, and um, time is also money. Uh, uh, so it's, you know, it, it, you have to choose. Like, do, do you have time to invest in your advertisement, or do you have time to invest in your business? It's in running right. your business. So it's a tough choice. Yeah. But, um, tough tough yeah. choice for sure. So with um, with everything changing so quickly and, and like you said, new innovations, you know, every day. What are some of the resources that you turn to, uh, you know, to help keep yourself informed and educated in, in this environment? So, um, well, you know, newsletter um, uh, to stay, you know, stay informed. Um, a lot of you know communications uh, between the, the different campaign managers. Uh, work testing, you know, different things like resharing uh, what we've learned, because that's what's nice when you're you're managing a lot of campaigns is you you can learn a lot from you know what you've seen. You're not seeing um, results for you know what type one type of uh, uh, of business. You you can share what you've learned from you know running one dentist campaign to for an, another dentist campaign because you, you've seen that, okay, is it working for this type of business? So really um, sharing information um, between the different employees. Um, we also have, you know, well, great partners that keep us informed when there are like new stuff coming up. So we have the opportunity to test betas um, and, uh, and have support. So if something big is happening to uh, um, almost uh, instantly having a, you know, a call and a training session about it. So um, uh, that's really how we stay, you know, up to date, more on the technical side. And otherwise, it's really, you know, reading the news. Yeah, perfect. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. This has been a really fun chat and, and really informative. Is there anything else you wanted to add or leave with our, our listeners and viewers? Uh, no, I think we've covered uh, a lot of, uh, of ground today. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks again. That's Anne from Yellow Pages joining us from Montreal, Canada. And if you want to check out uh, this show and others, you can always visit marketingjam.ca for previous shows and, and, and once to come in the future. Thanks again for tuning in.